Hi guys, yeah. so today I'm at Mike Nelson's exhibition in the South Bank at the Hayward Gallery and I'm going to take you through this insulation piece I've already started and walk you around. Let's have a look together. As you can see, love that little cat there and um, rubbish all put on top of here. Apparently this is like rooms or oh, someone's heads popped up there. This is different rooms that you can actually explore and go in. It kind of seems a bit claustrophobic and creepy but I'm gonna read that part. It seems like it's gonna be quite claustrophobic but I'm gonna give it a go. So I feel like I'm in a cell already. This is the labyrinth I'm doing now. Am I in here or am I in a squat? So you can kind of see what's going on in here. I kind of want to explore every room and not miss out. Let's go to this bit first. Yes, it took me around in a circle. Oh, Jesus. Lord, that scared the shit out of me. Sorry. Kind of weird. Auto like thing this is. But it literally is like a skull with bones and a shadow. I'm not a fan of this room. The purple and the blue paint I like. This is a little bit too haunting for me and I don't like this auto thing. Oh. That is just a little bit too creepy for my liking. Oh, it's even got charcoal burnings here. I just noticed to go out. So this makes sense with the first room we were just in. I like it's got Alex there. I don't know if you can see it because we're not allowed to put flashes on. But it's got Alex written on the doorway here. But yes, it's kind of like this bit is the first room and you can see like the making of it. I've got a feeling this is going to take me around in a circle. Let's give it a go. and go into here. No worries. crawling around I can now be on top and see all the bits of like the TV and the rubbish it's a kind of a good representation of all things we chuck and it's a bit obviously for looking out 
really do feel with this one. I'm in some kind of film and it's really interactive and it's also making me feel a little bit unnerved and freaked. I'm not going to lie. When holidays cost that amount. The bullet, is it? Is it a bullet? It's a bullet with tarot cards. Between the jacket and the tarot cards and the shell, we've already saw the gun and the fabric references. It's got me very intrigued. Oh. So I'm not gonna lie, this is creepy. It's the altar for me, that's a bit that's actually scared me. Don't mind if I came in this room with the sewing machine and the fan. That makes me feel a bit like oh, torturous, but not as, yeah. Me and altars don't do well. I think I'm going around in a circle now. Okay. Did this man have an issue with the fashion industry or something? Or did he work as an intern? Lots of like swatches. This could be my studio, but with less anger. As we said, the smash clock. So that's what would have happened if I just took that door instead of the other. Interesting, let's go back. Or, I've got an idea. I feel like I need a minute. This feels like walking around in a horror film. So I think it's done. I've got a feeling this is going to take me into the booking office. No, nope, that you can't get into that room. Interesting. So it's a very dark, creepy installation, but it does make you think, and that's one of the things I really do enjoy in the perspective. It's a piece I just saw down below that was about a sleeping bag, and people made me think of being homeless, etc. But yeah, I'm about to go into another room. I'm just walking in the tunnel in this 
sand dune. And it's another metal locked door. It's wood. And this is the dark room. Another perspective of seeing the Hayward Garden. His work with the uh, architecture of the building really works with a brutalistic style and it kind of just fits in natural, like it's always been here with it. Also, it's definitely a health and safety one for children which kind of, in a weird or funny way, makes me enjoy it more because it's just definitely don't touch unless you want an injection afterwards for tetanus <laughs> and it also makes me reminiscent of being in a boys school and the tech shops and metalwork and woodwork and I'm getting some interesting reminiscent feelings with this and what they've done so this is impressive already just walking into a structure of this um, there is a thing where a lot of people I know tend to get fascinated with building sites and stuff and when you look closely with the cement mixtures and the kind of scaffolding and concrete slabs mixed in with this, it's definitely a good use of materials. Let's have a look at it in detail and go closer. Um, and then as I was walking I did notice more of these faces hidden behind as you can see of the masks I call them the horror masks now If you're not scared of clowns, you'd definitely be scared of that Mr. Bobby kind of weird looking one there. doesn't look like a happy mask. And the Romulus and Remus logo for Rome. From what looks like a piece of spinal cord 
to shell clams and crab claws, lobster claws and a Sophie. It's very horror, very, it reminds me of some kind of cannibalistic film slash Mad Max vibes going on in these caged areas. As you can see here, and the balaclavas, which is always to me quite an aggressive piece of attire. And then it's bits like him hidden, who looks quite creepy when you look closer, you can't quite see him now. But all of these are not to be messed with, they literally are playing with the whole building, making the Hayward Gallery part of the insulation and the space around it where the artist is using space and sensory feelings such as smell with the charcoal and light as we spot with projectors as well as all other sound and touch going through the labyrinth. It's a very interesting way of using senses in the insulation to make your feelings really invoke and that's something I always say about artwork is important is that we feel something you don't necessarily have to always like it but you definitely should have a feeling that otherwise that's the question whether it's art for me with the eye just going through here and the hung up person there it's quite Let's, well, let's just say that's not a face of something that's a happy flower picture. I like it. I like what it's making you feel and think. This is called the projection room. And it kind of just looks like what you'd see in films as a serial killer's trophy room in a weird way. Or maybe I watch too many scary films. The last one. Hi, so that was a bit of a weird introduction compared to my usual videos, but it was such a fantastic way just to get straight into it. Uh, Mike Nelson Extinction Beckham's exhibition at the Hayward Gallery just by the South Bank was really interesting to go to. I didn't know anything about the artist at all apart from the press shots that I've kind of seen before. But I thought I like the sound of going into the art. I love insulations anyway. I love anything that you can get yourself immersed in. And for me, it felt very dystopian, which is obviously the feel, but it also felt like I was on a film set. I felt like I went from being in a horror film set, had Texas Chainsaw Massacre moments. I had science fiction Thunderdome kind of Mad Max elements as well. I um, definitely would say it's one that is would be too painful and much. I'd definitely say it'd be one that's too painful and a bit of a headache to have children with, uh, in a sense of rusty nails and everything that I said, but really good to go with anyone older, if you've got older children, and also really good uh, for yourself as a day by yourself or with somebody or a friend. I talking about that, I did actually bump into two wonderful ladies at the show while I was filming. So, hi, I'm giving a quick shout out to them as well because they were really lovely to talk to. And I hope they like the video as well when they see it because we've got chatting. And apart from that, um, I hope you like the video. It is a tip, bring a small bag. They do have a cloak room. They've got one room, the labyrinth rooms, you can't go in with a bag which is understandable, you can't move properly otherwise. And it's one pound for a cloakroom, about 16 pounds on a weekend for a ticket, and it is really worth it. And I would just say, go and check it out. Mike Nelson, as I said, Extinction Beckham's, and it's going on until the 7th of May, so you've got plenty of time.